Hello my friends and welcome back. I thought I would do maybe a series of little videos on um, either some new products out, some new foods to try, and then also maybe some really easy new products out on the market that are a real quick easy bake that almost make it seem like you made them from scratch. So here's one I just saw on the market and I thought I would try. And it's by Pillsbury. It's the Pull Apart Monkey Bread. Well, I think we've all had monkey bread. And I think we all like monkey bread. It's usually pretty good. So this seems pretty easy. Um, this one says it's the family size. I didn't see a children's size, so I guess this is for everyone. It says that um, it makes eight servings. Now that's questionable, because with monkey bread, a lot of people like to have a nice big serving. So I'm not sure it's gonna be eight servings. Um, so let's get to it. it. It looks pretty easy. Uh, let's see if it tastes as good as it sounds and see if it's really as easy to make as they make it sound. So all you need for this is it comes with everything except you need um, two tablespoons of melted butter. So I pre-melted that. I've got the oven preheated. It says you preheat your oven to 375. Pretty easy so far. It also says um, that you need, um, it shows a round pan. It doesn't show exactly the size or anything, but it does suggest that you do not use a pie pan. And I think that's because when you turn it over, it's probably not good to have the pie pan that flares. That's just my guess. So I'm using an eight inch round cake pan. So let's get started. So hopefully everything's in the box like they said it would be. So this is the pull apart dough. And here's your sauce packet. And this looks like it's probably easier to open with scissors. Let's get some scissors. So I think they should add to that list of things you need, scissors. Okay, so we're all scissored up, ready to go. Now, according to the directions, all we do is we go ahead and add this packet, they call it their sauce packet, which I'm assuming it's just kind of that, you know, brown sugar kind of thing. And you pour that right into your pan. Okay, so you want to squeeze it down, make sure you get all that goodness out. You want to shortchange yourself. And as we all know, monkey bread's usually on the sticky side. And to that, what we're going to do is we're going to add the two tablespoons of melted butter. And then it says we just mix this up. That's pretty easy. So we'll stir those together. It's kind of a caramely sauce. getting it all mixed together good hopefully this won't stick to the pan as well it smells good alrighty so I'm gonna set this aside just for a quick minute I think we got it all stirred together and next it says we're going to take the pull apart dough and you're supposed to roll it out and it's supposed to be pre-cut so let's see if that works let's hope I remember as a child, even this being the most fun part, when you take that paper off and then you go, bam. Alrighty, so I see a lot of perforations. That's a good start. So it says, go ahead and unroll this out, which we've done. And now it says to break apart on all of the perforated lines and we're gonna go ahead and put it right into this pan according to the directions. So well, that should go pretty easy. I think they want you to keep them kind of square. And this is probably, I, I just took it out of the refrigerator and I'm gonna recommend that you probably do the same because when, I don't know if you've ever done these and you take them out sooner and then you forget and then you go to do them. As they warm up, sometimes they kind of um, don't break apart as easy when you're doing some of the different uh, biscuits and muffins. So I'm gonna do this kind of quick because it is a warm day here. There is a lot. A lot of monkeys, I guess, for this bread. So maybe it does make eight servings. I may be wrong. And I'm assuming this is just probably one of their same uh, recipes that they use for one of their biscuits. So go ahead and just put these all in. Get down to the end. 
There we go, that was quick. Okay, and now it says we're going to toss these around so you make sure that all of these little breadlet squares, I think that's a new word, what do you think? Um, you wanna make sure that they all get coated with the uh, syrup and butter. So we're just gonna gently toss them around, get them all coated nice. And then um, we're going to, it says, I think, let's see, and then you make sure that they kind of get spread out evenly in the pan. Once we get it all coated real well, where there we go. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven. And again, um, this one's pretty vague on the recipe as far as directions go. Um, I guess they figure you've made enough of their Pillsbury products that you should have a handle on this, but this is a new product. So what it says to do is put it in the oven um, and you're gonna bake according to the chart. So if you used a eight inch round, a nine inch square, a 10 inch fluted pan, or a 10 inch fluted pan will dictate the amount of time to cook. So I'm using a, um, an eight inch round. So it's saying they're gonna take about 20 to 24 minutes um, to bake. So we'll go ahead and get these in the oven and I will see you in 20 to 24 minutes. Hi guys, it's been 25 minutes and I just took this out of the oven. It's really hot. You're supposed to be able to put it on a plate and flip it right over, but I have a feeling that, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe I should cut it around the edge, but I'm gonna do exactly what they say and we're gonna see how it comes out. They want you to flip it while it's still hot so it doesn't stick in the pan and then it's supposed to be served warm. So we probably need to let it cool for a couple minutes after we flip it. But let's try try the flipper and it is hot. As I thought I should have gone around the edge. So I think it's, oh, it's coming out. There we go, there we go. Alrighty. This is looking pretty good. So here's the monkey bread. Now I'm gonna let it cool just for a few minutes because you don't want to burn your mouth and I'm gonna see if I can't get Megan to come and give it a try. Bread. Yeah, so it does look like the picture. Came out, it smells really good. So it's supposed to be like monkey bread's like supposed to be pull apart, but um, I don't know if we should cut it. I mean, it does seem to be falling apart. Oh, this is good. This is good. Uh-huh. Oh, I can see this being on our shopping list. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. If you want to trick everybody, make them think you made this amazing monkey bread all by yourself homemade, just hide the box. Thank you, Pillsbury. It wasn't sponsored, though. Thank you guys so much, and... We'll see you in the next video.